right, so today we're going to give you a little demonstration ride of the new 2015 Toyota Pro Series Tundra uh, on our course here at the Chicago Auto Show. So, obviously you see our new Pro Series uh, vehicles here, which we made the world debut of this morning, which includes the Tundra, the Tacoma, and the 4Runner. We're in the Tundra right now, and we're actually going to start our course driving up our, our gravity shifter, uh, known as our teeter-totter, but you can hear possibly from the exhaust note the 5.7 liter V8 engine in it with 381 horsepower. Uh, more than enough horsepower and torque to pull and tow and do what you need to do, especially if you're into off-roading. Um, you see that we've got it in, in one of the specific colors for the Pro line, which is what they call the Inferno color, this burnt orange. Uh, but And while that's wonderful and beautiful, we've got some of the IP you know, stitching, tying in that, that uh, interior package, but the real beauty of this truck is what's underneath, and it's not so much the engine and drivetrain as it is in the technology and the suspension. You know, we've got uh, the four track or the A-track system rather uh, that you'll see here a little bit as we go up the articulation ramp because it will simulate the loss of traction and how the car compensates for that. But this, the shock and suspension changes uh, we've made include a spring change up front, which is a slightly softer spring than the regular Tundra to help make the ride quality still good. But we've gone to a remote reservoir rear shock as well which leads to better packaging. It also enables us to raise the ride height by about two inches and increase the wheel travel. So as you notice, as we went over that, you know, if that were a true off-road situation, you wouldn't be bottoming out. You wouldn't be hitting any of the undercarriage or even the new, the, the great new quarter-inch aluminum skid plate. We didn't hit any of those things. So that's a, a big, a big, you know, plus for the off-road enthusiast. Now, same, same thing here. We're going through a water pit and we're in two feet of water right now with no issues. We're not bottoming out. We're not taking on water, so to speak. We're going to stop here for just a moment and let some of this water drain out behind us as we come out of it so we don't drag it all back up onto the circuit here. As you can tell, we've done a pretty fair job with that already this morning. But um, you'll also notice here, with as big of a truck as the Tundra is, it's got a pretty solid turning radius. And even though we've got very sloppy, loose, low grip conditions right here in the sandy, sandy wet, uh, roadway here, it's going through it with no problem. And you'll also notice, you know, that extra wheel travel comes into play here when we're on a situation like driving over railroad ties similar to this, and then you throw in an extreme angle to a hillside as well, and you can see how that really benefits. You know, if we're doing a hill climb, uh, you'll see on the other side here in just a second a steep descent. Um, you've got a vehicle here between the horsepower, the, the technology that's in it from a software standpoint as well as a hardware standpoint that this truck is more than capable of handling pretty much anything you can throw at it. Coming down off the hill here at a pretty steep angle, no problem. Very sure-footed, very confidence-inspiring truck. And one of the other great benefits, and I've noticed this throughout the Toyota line, is that even though you know it's a truck, it steers like a car. So you've got a good, solid, heavy-duty truck feel that you can really push to its limits and one that kind of drives a little bit more like a car. There we go.